Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and if this app looks familiar to one we recently looked at, uh, it's because it is. It's made by the same developer as the guy who made Exoplanet Explorer. This is called Solar System Explorer, and so it's a little closer to home, uh, if you get me. Uh, down here we've got the same orbiting um, models of the solar system with all of the planets labeled and all of the you know actual rings of the orbits lined up. But what's really cool is that this uh, panel right here gives us just some straight scientific information on whatever you tap. So Sol, or what we call Sun, um, tells us that uh, an unusually bright yellow dwarf powered by the nuclear fusion of 620 million tons of hydrogen uh, is what our Sun has going for it. It accounts for 99.86% of the mass of the solar system, formed about 4.5 billion years ago, just a lot of information. Uh, you can hit the eyeball button, takes you back to the top. If you hit this, it'll tell you stats about whatever you're looking at in relation to the Earth as our standard unit of measurement. So our day, radius mass, gravity, etc. Um, and then this button right here looks like an upside down peace sign almost. Tells you about the structure of whatever you're looking at. So let's move on to home, Earth. And let's go about, let's learn about the Earth, you know, as the planet. Same thing, only known planet with life, um, exists in a stable orbit around the sun in the habitable zone, which is awesome. The uh, sun was only 70% 70, 70 as bright as it is now when the Earth formed. And then we get into some sad stuff. Approximately 500 million years, the increasing radiation from the sun will result in the Earth not being able to sustain as much life. And then at the very bottom... We learn that in a billion years' time, the Earth won't sustain life. Sad story. Stats, one year, one day, one Earth, one Earth, and one G, which I assume means gravity. And then you can learn about the structure. So we've got our iron core, and then our inner and outer, um, whatever they're called, layers, upper layer, lower layer, mantle, etc. And then you can actually learn about our moon, too. And this guy's very proper. Instead of calling it, you know, sun or moon, it's sol or luna. Um, but you can spin it around and, and just, just, this is so cool looking. You know, you can see the rest of the solar system from whatever you're looking at's perspective. You've got great lens flare effect going on here. You can learn about the structure of our moon. And then you can just go back into anything you know so let's take a look at Saturn Saturn and its many many moons and and how far away the Sun looks but I mean just if you just look at these effects they're beautiful you almost feel like you're there and to me that is so cool because it's almost humbling to see how big just our solar system is and how beautiful it all is and then you can also see its stats now, the last thing, you know, because the app is what it is, and it functions similarly no matter what you're looking at, but you can also look at satellites. Down here at the bottom, you can see that um, if you tap the little satellite button, you can actually look at satellites that we have launched. Voyager 1 and 2, Dawn, Juno, is that Cassini, I hope? New Horizons? and Pioneer and it just takes you boom zoom 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 in and you can spin you can see you know 3D artist models of what they look like and then you can check out their stats when they were built what country built them their mass and if we've got contact with them so New Horizons you know kinda cool looking and what's behind him <gasps> there's Neptune still operational 1997 Juno pretty new 2011 it's in transit, and look how far away it is. Earth, Neptune, Jupiter. It's just crazy. What a beautiful, gorgeous, functional app. Really educational. So, I mean, you could technically call it a kid's app if you wanted to, but for me, at 23, I am geeking out just as hard over how impressive it is. And then the last one, Voyager. 1977 Voyager 1 and 2, still operational. And then I'll show you this at the very bottom. Oh, obviously, each vehicle, Voyager 1 and 2, carry a gold-plated video disc that contain photos, sounds, and scientific information identifying us and the probe's origin should it ever be discovered by sentient aliens, or, on the other hand, letting them know all of our weaknesses so they can come and take over the planet. But what I want to tell you is that uh, 14,000 years to travel just one light year, 
And Voyager 1, I think, is the first man-made object that we'll have launched that will have the honor of being uh, the first thing to leave the solar system, which is just absolutely wild to me. So that is Solar System Explorer. We've got a really, really cool solar system. I mean, because, hey, we're living in it. So you might as well learn about it. And it, with something this beautiful and this functional and informative with this beautiful heavenly background music, i definitely give it a, a, a look. Uh, it's, I think, two ninety nine in the Android market. Again, it's called Solar System Explorer. And you can find it in the Android market.